In this video, we are going to discuss about energy and power signals. From the last few classes, we are uh, discussing about the classification of signals like uh, continuous and discrete and uh, random and uh, deterministic and even and odd signals, periodic and uh, periodic signals like this we are uh, discussing from the past few classes. In this class, we are going to discuss about energy and power signal. Now, when a signal is said to be an energy signal, when a signal is said to be a power signal. So, here you can see the definition, a signal is said to be an uh, energy or power signal if the total energy or power transmitted is finite. Whenever total energy is transmitted is uh, finite, then you can say that signal is energy signal. Whenever total energy transmitted or average power transmitted by that signal is finite then you can say that is a power signal. So, at a time both signals can't get a uh, an, uh, value equivalent to finite that means so uh, if a signal is said to be energy signal definitely that can't be a power signal. If a signal is said to be power signal definitely that can't be energy signal. So, a signal can't be both energy and power signal at a time. So, either that may be an energy signal and uh, may be a power signal and sometimes so neither power signal nor uh, energy signal uh, condition will be there but at a time a signal can't be both energy and power signal that means at a time it travel it uh, uh, covers finite energy or finite power. So, here we are having some formulas to calculate the energy in finite and infinite durations and as well as for power also we are having two formulas to calculate in finite duration and infinite duration. You can observe the formulas here. If you are given to calculate the energy then you can observe the signal you need to observe the signal if that is in finite duration then you need to use this formula E is equal to minus T to T x square of T dt. So, here this is the formula for energy in finite duration. Just by making the limits as infinity that means limit t tending to infinity will make this limits to infinity at the end. So, by making limit t tends to infinity integral minus t to t x square of t dt will give you. So, here energy of infinite duration signal. So, in the same way we are having formula to calculate the average power or power of the signal. So, P is equal to 1 by T integral minus T by 2 to T by 2 in some textbooks you can observe 1 by 2 T integral minus T to T there is no problem. So, if you are observing 1 by 2 T then definitely minus T to T limits you need to consider but I consider here 1 by T minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square of t dt will be the formula for calculating finite duration power and here for calculating infinite duration power so this is equivalent to limit t tending to infinity 1 by t for this same formula you need to consider limit like this so limit t tending to infinity 1 by t minus t by 2 to t by 2 integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 x square of t dt this is the formula to calculate the infinite duration power so now here uh, we need to keep in mind about two important points uh, for example, if an energy signal is there, so for that the power is always equal to 0. For example, if a power signal is there, the energy carried by that is equal to infinity. So, here you can see power of energy signal is always equal to 0 and energy of power signal is always equal to infinity. For example, in any problem you found a particular signal is a energy signal. If they are asking power then definitely you can put power is equal to 0. Why because? So, here we are having a relation. So, power of energy signal is always equal to 0. So, if a signal is found to be power signal then if you want to calculate the energy no need of uh, going into this formulas and process you can directly write the energy of that particular power signal is equal to infinity. These two points are very very important in technical exam point of view especially in gate like exams they are directly giving. 
so what is the power of so and so energy signal what is the energy of so and so power signal they are giving like that so no need to calculate by using formulas you can directly put zero or infinity so by using this theory so now this is about energy and power signals the two important points are if a signal is said to be energy signal the total energy carried by that must be finite if a signal is said to be a power signal then total power carried by that must be uh, finite so here at a time a signal can't be both energy and power signal and here these two are also very important points power of energy signal is equivalent to zero and energy of power signal is always equivalent to infinity in the next class we will observe different problems related to energy and power of signal so which came in uh, already came in gate and uh, gate models related to this topic we will discuss from next class onwards